Target Field in Minneapolis. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the Minnesota Twins. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set and towing the slab, Pablo Lopez. Yeah, and as Whip tells you, he's been pretty effective this year on the mound. I mean, opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path. So, for taking the mound, this is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate, and I expect him to be good in this one. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. One ball, two strikes. On the ground, right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. One of the more high-powered lineups in the game right now. It's built to do damage, and they got some hitters that could punish the baseball, Chris. So fun to watch these players take their at-bats. I mean, they're so disciplined. Don't give not just at-bats away, but really pitches away. Very aggressive, competitive in the zone. And when they connect, there's usually some loud noise to it. So we'll keep our ears open today. Hey. Struck him out looking. That is good. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Luis Robert. Boog, here's a guy at the plate. I'm expecting to have a good game. He always seems to play better in road games. And that skips in the dirt. Two outs, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing for the White Sox. And now the Twins will go to work on offense. We've got no score. You're dialed into the show. Back in Minnesota. And today's starting pitcher, Chad Cool. And a guy like this is going to keep you in the ball game. He's going to go out there, compete. Not going to see a whole lot of flair and flash, but... He's going to hand it over to the bullpen at some point, and if you've been able to score a few runs, you'll be in it late. So we'll see if he's able to do that for his club in this one. Bottom of the first. This is Willie Castro. The line in the pitch. And that one sliced foul. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. DeYoung takes it in for the out. One away. And now we take a peek at the Twins lineup. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click. And unfortunately, what happens is players press. They try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. This looks like extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's in there. It's a first inning double. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Matt Walmer now at the plate. Man at second. In the air out towards right center. Sizes this one up. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two away down. Batting four. The designated hitter. Ryan Jeffers. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. Miranda at second with two down. In there at the knees, and that is strike two. Fights it off, you'll see another. Bounces.
gets to third. To first, play made, that ends the inning. One left for Minnesota, scoreless after one. Top of the second, and now the first baseman, Gavin Sheets. Gavin Sheets. Next offering upstairs. start to the inning for the defense on the mound he's thinking he's got the first out on a simple ground out but that error changes everything now it has the makings of an inning where the offense can apply some pressure and try to make something happen Eloy Jimenez now downstairs four, and it misses ball base. four He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count, one and two. The pitch. Lopez gets the swing and the miss, and that is a big first out. Two on, one out. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He scores, and they have the lead. one nothing. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. First and second, one out. So up next for Chicago, Brooks Baldwin. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Miranda snags it out number two good hard fastball up in the zone right there they look really good coming in but so hard to get on top of as a hitter so first and second with two outs here's Corey Lee that's outside two and one Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Traffic on the bases with one already in. Here at the top of the second. Swung on. Popped up on the infield. And that's the third out. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's an early 1-0 lead. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning, and now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. Santana. The 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. That is Manuel Margot up to the plate. And another ball. Two balls, one strike. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Two-two on the way. Got a full count. Swing and a miss struck him out. 
batting Kevin. Now batting Max Kepler. Max Kepler. Outside low. And it's two and one. Two balls, one strike. Swings through that one. Two two. Next Down offering upstairs. Ball. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. Fan ranging back, hits the top of the wall, and into second easily with a two out double. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balance swing and a fraction of an inch different on the back. And it is kind of out of here. Man at second here with two away. Brooks Lee, the next to hit. Kicks and fires. Fought off foul. Kepler stands at second with two gone. Two outs. Ground ball to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Twins wind up stranding one. They trail here, one nothing. On to the third the inning. Stepping in, the White Sox leadoff man, Nicky Lopez. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. One out. Here's Tommy Pham. One out, base is empty. Just miss, misses the ball. mark outside the zone. It's a good take. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. And there is another strikeout. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. you got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still, a one and two count. And Pablo Lopez will deliver. Not two close with that one. The count now two and two. And that there's missed, a ball. That's the ball. Full count. Well hit the other way. That one going back and foul. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Got him looking. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Set for the bottom of the third, and now Christian Vasquez. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. 
Nice, doubled up with the slider for that punch out. The one to four just caught the zone, so as a hitter, you have to protect right there. Great pitch to just expand a little bit more. He got that chase he was looking for. That right there is good pitching. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Willie Castro, the next twin up to hit. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. In the air, left field. Benintendi is there. He's got it, and there's two away. Now that is the third baseman. Down the number two hitter, Jose Miranda. The wind of the pitch. That clips the inside corner for a strike. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball two. The wind of the pitch. Check swing, tried to hold up, now an appeal to first. And he went around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. Twins retired in short order. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Out of the fourth, leading off, Gavin Sheets. Gavin Sheets. Hit center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Everything came together for him. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Here's Aloy Jimenez. The pitch. Run around the goal. Next offering is foul back. And that just misses. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. Two-two now. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Ben and up here. Swing and a miss. One and two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And that's no, down no. and away. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And a pitch. And another ball. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And yeah, the batter now, Paul DeYoung. Two outs. In the air, left side. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff, a base hit. And now Brooks Baldwin. 
Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. Corey Lee steps to the plate for the White Sox. That one finds the zone, and that's strike two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Lopez gets the swing and the miss. Huge strike out there. And the White Sox will strand three. They lead it 1 0. Back at Target Field, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Matt Walmer. the other way that's a base hit so a man on base to start the inning showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way didn't get jumpy didn't try to pull the ball he let it get deep took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit so now here's the DH Ryan Jeffers Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. One and two. Tying run is at first. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. That one misses. Two and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Next pitch is outside. Carlos Santana in the on-deck circle for the Twins. In the air to left center, Benintendi ranging after it. Benintendi grabs it on the run. And now for the Twins, Carlos Santana. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. The pitch. Misses off the play. Two and one. And fouled off. Two two now. Sets him down looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that. And I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Here's Manuel Margot. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Benintendi makes the catch, and that'll do it. One left for Minnesota, and it remains 1-0. Back in Minnesota, all set for the start of the inning. Stepping in, the White Sox leadoff man, Nicky Lopez. Lopez. The shortstop ball. takes a ball. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Steven Okert, the left-hander, up and throwing. Jax getting cranked up as well. The count two and one. And that one hammered. Can't get to it as it drops into the corner. Throws to second, and that's a leadoff double. 
Next to the top, the right field, Tommy Fan. And next to hit for the Sox, Tommy Fan. Close, uh -huh, but ball. called a ball. And it's two and one. Two and one. Swing and a miss there. Two balls, two strikes. Lopez gets the swing and a miss. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days, but when you're still winning the ball game. At least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Luis Robert now. And yeah, that's, that's outside. Ball. Three balls and a strike. Lopez over at second, one down. Three, two now. Full count. Here in the fifth inning, and here he is about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, he's really had to grind through to get to this point. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. So back-to-back -back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boogie, you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned, and just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non-issue. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Gavin Sheets. On the ground to the left. No, that's and that's foul just foul. And now two and two. Swings and lines a base hit into left field, and they hold the runner at third base as they decide not to risk the send with two away. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Rocco Baldelli out of the dugout now, and he's going to make a change. Pablo Lopez will depart, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. On the mound now, Cole Sands. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boo. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. First and third, two away. Aloy Jimenez steps to the plate for the White Sox. Two on, two outs. And a count one and two. And it's ready to miss. Third out. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just gotta let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Max Kepler at the plate. Righty delivers. In there at the knees. One, two. That two, one misses two. in the dirt. But why to kick the pitch? Just outside. Full count back. Now on this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Ground ball to the middle. That's a base hit. 
Off to a good start with a leadoff nine. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. At the play, Brooks Lee. Ball to strike. Ball to drive. That's a base hit. Robert hustles it back in. And two on now as they try to rally here. Well, that may end up being at bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, run through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Baldwin, the underhand flip over to Lopez Wong. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Willie Castro, the next twin up to hit. Two outs. Fouled off. He was late. Now all leave it up. And another ball. Jose Miranda next to bat for Minnesota. Back to work. 3-2 now. Up the middle. Into the outfield. Base hit. The tying run is in to score from third. We're tied at one. Huge game tying at bat right there. Came through in a big spot to drive in the run. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And now Jose Miranda. Cool. Checks on first. Castro back easily. Here comes a pitch. Two, one. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Last half of inning number five. Runner. Here goes the runner. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. All even now at 1-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. All set for the top of the sixth. There's Ben Benintendi to start it off. And a pitch. And a foul ball. And a 1-2. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout. And this one looking, obviously. So he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. All tied up. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. Missed. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And now it's filled up. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. And he walked him. Man at first with one gone. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Brooks Baldwin. Right-handed reliever. Wouldn't chase that time. Two and one. That one to first. 
Santana to second. Return away to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. So they make short work of him there. 2-3-4 due up in the home half of the sixth. All tied 1-1. Pitching change here, number 33. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. Now, Jose Miranda. The third baseman. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. And a one two. Stays alive. The one two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Still two and two after the foul ball. Ground ball right side. Gets to it with a slide. Throw to first. It's there, and that's a great play. We saw a few skills on display there for the out. Technique was great, reaction time was there, and the slide was smooth. Watching that play come together was really fun. So digging in, Matt Wallmer. Next pitch is outside. Two balls, one strike. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. That one Three almost got him. And a pitch. Way yeah. out front for strike two. Movement in the bullpen. Garrett Crochet, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Banks also getting ready. Payoff pitch. And a swing and a miss. Two down. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Now it's the DH. Brian Jeffers. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Next offering no, upstairs. Hey. He goes down looking. Down go the Twins in order. Score remains deadlocked at one. And we're back. Top of inning number seven. Here's the catcher, Corey Lee. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. And there's a foul ball. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on no, your secondary ball. lead and hope that some base hits, some slugs, some home runs can come into play. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Kepler balls it in and there's one away. 
Up next to the White Sox. Back, back to the top of the lineup, Nicky Lopez steps to the plate for the White Sox. Flying drive, and that's a base hit out into center field. Just kind of slice that one into center. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Tommy Fan steps to the plate for the White Sox. Runner on the go. Pitches no, low. Bro, oh, save! You know, nights like this when it seems harder to score, I like the call to put him in motion and try to steal the base. Ball's not carrying, no home runs so far, so trying to manufacture some offense like this may be the way to go. Man at second. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this whole crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. And up next for Chicago, Luis Robert. Man on second, two down. There's the swing and a miss. One, two. And now it's one and two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. The pitch. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now for the Twins, Carlos Santana. Kicks and deals. No, that missed. That's the ball. Well, these Twins finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get back. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Here's the center fielder, Manuel Margot. All tied up near the bottom of the seventh. Now a blooper back behind Shore. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Max Kepler, the next twin up to hit. Back out one and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. One, two. Pitch misses there. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. And another ball. Brooks Lee up next. Three, two. Bounced up the middle. A dive. Nice stop. And they get the out. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. Griffin 
Jacks into the game. Well, he's a big time strikeout guy out there. This season, averaging more than one per inning. And here's the first baseman, Gavin Sheets. The first baseman, Gavin Sheets. The 1 1. Righty to the plate. Got it! Leadoff man is out here in the game. So up next, Aloy Jimenez. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Andrew Benintendi steps up. No, Next pitch out. is outside. Gets a piece and stays alive. And another oh, ball. Paul DeYoung. Up next for the White Sox. The pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Two down, nobody on. Fouls it back with two strikes. And a 3 2. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One, two, three, go to White Sox. Still tied. One, one. Welcome back as we have a pinch hitter to lead it off. Royce Lewis. He represents the go ahead run. And here it comes. Swings and misses, struck him out. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. So here's Christian Vasquez. And a 2-1 on the way. A laser to left base hit. And now the lineup turns over with one away. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So the batting order turns over, and here's the Twins leadoff guy, Willie Castro. And he deals. Way inside, gets out of the way. And a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Here's the 2-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. Oh. 
That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Rick. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. So up next for Minnesota, Jose Miranda. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. Late swing fouled off. looking for the K. So no runs here in a base hit. No errors and one left. Through eight full. All tied 1-1. One, one. So remaining in the game defensively, Royce Lewis taking over as the new shortstop now following his pinch hit appearance. So digging in, Paul DeYoung. The third baseman, Paul DeYoung. The pitch. Nope, ball. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The 2 2 on the way. Got it! And a strikeout for the first out here in the night. Here's the second baseman, Brooks Baldwin. One down, base is empty. That's the ball. Two one. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Tap to first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And that quickly, two away. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff, just like we saw. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Jorge Alcala. He comes on for the 35th time this year. Lee steps to the plate for the White Sox. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Right-hander kicks deals. And down on strikes he goes. And the White Sox go quietly. No runs, no hits, no errors. Hard of the order. 3 4 5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. All tied 1 1. Back in Minnesota, bottom of the ninth, digging in, Matt Walmer. Here's a 1 1. And that one fouled off. Line to left. And Benintendi able to make the grab. One up, one down. Good piece of hitting right there. Nice hard line drive to the outfield. You're trying to get on base, represent that go-ahead run. Can't hang your head on that at all. Now it's going to be Brian Jeffers. Slider misses outside. Activity in the pen for the White Sox. Garrett Crochet, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball that is ready to go. Jew, the right-hander, loosening up as well. The pitch. Fights it off, he'll see another.
Three and two. Payoff pitch. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now back. Here the bottom of the ninth, one out. And next for Minnesota, Carlos Santana. Ball to strike. The pitch. Fall off foul. And the righty deals. That smacked on a line to center. Brings it in, and there's two away. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. And now the center fielder, Manuel Margot. And that one fouled off. Swinging, it's a strikeout. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. Twins wind up stranding one. Score remains tied 1 1. Back in target field. We're in extras here. Now it's the shortstop, Nicky Lopez. Lopez. Man at second. Really been able That's to slow fun. down the game tonight with his at bats and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. Kicks and fires. That, that one ball. misses. Three and one. Tommy Fan in the on deck circle. In for a strike. And the right hander deals. He walked in, and that will keep things going. First and second, no outs. Tommy Pham steps to the plate for the White Sox. Hit in the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. The back. The center field. Luis Two on, one out. Luis Robert steps to the plate for the White Sox. Two on, one out. And that oh, one a down. little below the knees. And it's two and one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Josh Stamont warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Oker also throwing. The two on. Oh, right yeah. through there for a strike. With the go ahead run standing at second here in the top half of the 10. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. First and second with two outs. Now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox. Gavin Sheets. The pitch. And a count one and two. 